Hey guys, happy to be back again for 2023 installer of the year. I appreciate you guys checking out the video and giving me an opportunity to uh, go for this nomination. That means a lot to me. Uh, super happy about last year. And uh, we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in. My name's Mike. Uh, the name of my company is Efficient Integrations. And uh, we've, I've been doing this uh, professionally since I was 15 or 16 years old. So uh, about 23 years now, it's been a while that I've been installing. Um, we've been efficient integration since 2017. So we're just about to hit our five year mark. And we've been at this exact location since March of 2020. So uh, jumping into the next question, we've got the biggest challenge or accomplishment, uh, personal or professional, you've overcome in the past year. Professionally, um, biggest challenge for me is just time management, making sure that I'm staying on top of everything and, and putting the right amount of time into my installations, not too little, not too much. Um, Obviously, we've got some space restraints, uh, a little bit of a smaller shop that I'm working in than you know maybe years in the past, but I've got it set up the way that I want it and, and uh, just utilizing it to the best of my ability. Uh, most of my challenges, uh, to get on a little bit of a personal note, um, have been on the personal side. I've, uh, I've had a lot of struggles um, over the past year. Uh, a lot of family members have been sick uh, my mom had cancer and that has been a, a huge toll. Um, my daughter's had surgery, I've had surgery, just a, a lot going on and trying to, you know, separate that from the work that I do, but still keep enough time after doctor's appointments and whatever else to, to uh, get in here and do what I love. Um, but I've, I've definitely think I've overcome that. I've, I've still put in a lot of effort. I've put in a lot of hours and and uh, worked a lot to better myself and, and do even better than I did last year. So uh, moving on, uh, coworkers and uh, customers and how they would describe me and the, the culture of our store. Um, the words that I hear the most in the reviews that I see about myself are professional and courteous and knowledgeable. Um, and I really like to take the time to explain things to the customers, not just throw stuff in their car and send them on their way, uh, but explain things and make sure that the situation is right for them and make sure that the uh, application and the installation is all exactly what's gonna work best for them. Um, and I think that really, really shows through in our, our online reviews and I just, I can't get enough of, of those. I love reading them. I love hearing from our customers. Um, they are saying exactly what I, what I want to be told. I mean, it, it really, really is heartwarming and encouraging and means so much to me. Um, so that leads right into my specialty and uh, philosophy as an installer. And that is to go above and beyond the expectations of every single customer and every single client. Doesn't matter if we're throwing in a radio or a remote start or if we're doing a five figure audio system and going all out on a car. Um, it really doesn't make a difference. I wanna make every single installation the absolute best that it can be. And I do that by continuously doing research and checking in with the community and watching how other people are doing it and just going a step beyond that, if at all possible, uh, to make it as good as possible for our, for our clients and our customers. Um, and I think that they remember that aspect of it. They, they go online, they tell other people, you know, this is the best guy you're gonna get. This is the, this guy does the absolute best work in the industry and he actually cares and he's gonna make sure that your system sounds top notch and I've never heard anything like it before and he does this and he does that. And I love hearing those things and we get a lot of repeat customers. Uh, I get a lot of clients coming back to me um, and a lot of clients, or a lot of new clients that say, hey, I heard about you from so-and-so or so-and-so. I heard his truck and it sounded amazing and the work you did was spectacular. So really, really love seeing that and hearing that. All right, guys, I'm gonna get into the next one, which is professionals and experiences that have had an influence on me in the last year. Uh, it's a bit of a long list, so I'm gonna fire through it. And there's gonna be several people that I don't mention. 
But first off, I want to mention uh, Chris Cook and, and everybody that helps organize this. Uh, Joseph Norton uh, actually encouraged me a lot this year. I was thinking about not doing it just because of everything that's been going on. Uh, and I'm glad that I'm, I'm doing it. And I, I really would have regretted it because this means so much to me. Uh, Casey Thorson and the team at Morell, Jason Digos, Just Dustin and Doug at MSC, Andy at Audio Frog, um, Jason Malden at Redenzo, Chris Labonte, even though he's not installing a whole lot, still a super helpful and super amazing guy. Uh, Rich Day Slafini, uh, Lee Powell and Chris Pace, Josh Hewitt, Conrad LaDuke, Jason Cook, Jesse Mitchell, Adam Devine. I love seeing your store. I love seeing the way that you're doing things. I really, I think it's amazing. Uh, Nick Apicella, exact same thing. I love seeing your growth and the work that you do. Uh, it really inspires me. I may not talk to you guys all that often, but just know that, you know, you do influence me. Uh, Ray Wolf at Escort, Joe Padula, I love seeing the work that you do, Jason Ewing, one of the, the best tech support guys I've ever talked to. Um, so that's most of my list. I'm sure there's others that I forgot to mention, but we're going to keep moving on. So why should I be part of the top 50s? Uh, you know, I consider myself one of the best installers I've ever met, and I know that sounds big headed but I think that I put a lot into it that, um, you know, maybe a lot of people wouldn't normally do. And it's very, very important to me that everything we do is of the highest quality. Um, so we're gonna snap over to a quick walkthrough. I'll show you guys the tools and stuff like that. And then we'll show some cool pictures of some of the work that we've done. So. And we're back. You guys will be seeing this showroom in a little bit when we do retailer of the year. But for right now, let's go check out the install. Our wood shop area here, as I said, not a lot of space, so we gotta utilize it how we can. Uh, the wood shop, when we're using it, tends to get drug out this way and uh, expanded throughout the rest of the shop. Uh, all of my installation, parts, accessories, everything else uh, organized on the walls. We come over here, we've got some of our fabrication tools and templates and things like that that we've saved, tape, solder, all the stuff everybody has at their shop. All right, so here we are. We've got toolbox number one. Some of our tools, try to stay as organized as possible. I like this toolbox because it's short enough, just short enough to fit under my countertop here. Pliers, strippers, things like that. Here's some of our sockets that we use more on a daily basis. Uh, some more socket overflow, specialty sockets, uh, drill bits, things like that in this drawer come over and we've got some of our test equipment here as organized as I can possibly make it and right over here to some handy T handles radio keys files little files big files pry bars things like that uh, up here in the top we've got our I'm a big fan of the Milwaukee M12 equipment so we've got our Milwaukee stuff um, some of our longer breaker bars things like that measuring tapes some overflow of connectors uh, sanding, stapling, you name it. And we'll walk right over here. That's our wire, air compressor, shop vac, drill press. Over here to toolbox number B. Uh, again, some miscellaneous tools that may not be everyday use, but are great to have. You know, some of them not even opened. Wrenches. Come down. We've got a lot more sockets here. Uh, some of our bigger impact sockets, things like that. More pliers, hammers, starting to get into junk drawers. So some of that power equipment, which I actually kind of like. I'll walk right over here. The project we're working on. This is kind of my prep station for remote starts. Um, batteries are over here some of the equipment for upcoming jobs up there. Kind of give you guys a quick walkthrough of what we, what we have around us every day. So, appreciate you guys uh, watching the video very much. Uh, we'll just go ahead and transition. We'll show you a few of the projects that we've done, some still shots and things like that. And I uh, really hope to to get your votes. I hope to make the nomination this year. I'd be super proud once again. So thanks a lot. Bye guys.